We back. Billion Burris. It's lit. Um, this is our first actual full stand up, like reacting to it. We're going to do this one first because I know we can get this one off. I had to check because some of these are blocked. So y'all got to understand that's that. But we're, I think the vibe of the full, you know what I mean? One's going to be a little bit different because obviously we've seen some of this um, from doing different clips. And also, you know, I don't know. It's longer. So first time reacting to something this long, drop a like, subscribe, road to 20K. I had to draw the intro out a little bit because I want them to monetize the video and I know Bill be snapping right away. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. Bill Burr. Yeah. Hopefully they edited it nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. For Christ's sake. Thing. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm running out of ways to say thank you. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> How's it going? Excellent. I was in a shitty mood today, man. I was. I was watching TV. You ever been in like such a bad mood that even when you're watching bad shit happening to people, you're like, you know what? Good. <laughs> you know, I'm glad your life sucks. <laughs> it makes me feel better about my own. <laughs> No, yeah. you know what I was doing? I was watching this, uh, you know those fabulous lives? I was watching the, uh, the fabulous life of the uh, Olsen twins, you know? And they're like 18 years old. They're like zillionaires. They got a great apartment. And it's making me feel like a loser. <laughs> then halfway through it, I find out one of them's anorexic. I was like, you know what? All right. <laughs> Even the playing fields. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm glad she's not eating. <laughs> Pass out, whack your head off your golden sink. My oh, God. My day. <laughs> you know, I don't get I don't get how the other Olsen twin only weighs half a pound more, but she's fucking fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, they're so starving, they're weak. That's why whenever they take a picture of them, you ever notice they gotta like fucking lean them up against each other? <laughs> like they don't tip over, like they're holding each other up. <laughs> a tripod. Like, to right. Look sexy. Mm -mm. Not sexy, they look like aliens. <laughs> they are, man. You can't weigh 42 pounds and have your eyeballs be 28 of that weight. <laughs> and that looks like you're from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> like when I look at them, I think if E.T. was going to have a threesome, those are the two bitches he looks no. like. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Buddy, get that glowing finger going. Yo. <laughs> the glowing finger that we said? Wow. Okay. Oh my God! Right, the glowing finger is insane. Can I have a threesome. Those are the two bitches he'd hook up with. <laughs> That's crazy. He would. He'd get that glowing finger going. Now I'm feeling like a loser, man. I am, man. I'm fucking 36. I'm not married. You know, I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. You know, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know, isn't anybody looking at the stats? <laughs> the stats. You know, like one out of two marriages goes right down the shitter. <laughs> People, if you were going skydiving and they told you half the parachutes were going to open, <laughs> oh my god! You'd be like, yo, fuck that! Right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> For real though. No, it's like I don't like those odds. I get a fifty percent chance of splatting on the ground. I'm not doing it, right? <laughs> there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's always so funny, too, because we just started sports betting, like, for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the odds are horrible. <laughs> I'm not doing it, right? But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Is this awesome. the line to lose half my shit? <laughs> This is gonna be great. Yeah. I can't wait to lose my car, my money. Oh, look, the line's moving. One step closer to my own personal hell. <laughs> to my own personal hell. <laughs> no, I don't think I could ever get married, man. Married dudes freak me out. 
<laughs> and he's married Anytime now. Anytime you ask a married guy, what's it like being married? They always tell you it's good, but they always have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. You ever notice that? <laughs> oh, wow. my Dude, what's God. it like being married? Like, you know, it's good. It's good. It's, uh... <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's enjoyable, you know. It's a lot of work, but, uh, you know. The pain. I think when you meet that special someone, <laughs> there's a connection, and I, I can't feel my legs. Let me just, just lean over here. You know, a woman completes a man, and... Some other <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> I telegraphed that water drink. No, you know what freaks me out too, really? <laughs> when you go to a man's house, there's nothing in there. A married guy's house. When you walk in there, there's nothing in there that even suggests a man even lives there. <laughs> so, like, and throw pillows. That stupid canopy. We live in a dollhouse. Bullshit over the bed. <laughs> and I had the canopy, but I wasn't going to put it up unless you said it was okay. I still got it. <laughs> all that. The potpourri, all that. Not too, really? Mm -hmm. When you go to a man's house, there's nothing in there. A married guy's house. When you walk in there, there's nothing in there that even suggests a man even lives there. It's all potpourri and throw pillows. That stupid canopy. We live in a dollhouse bullshit over the bed. Where does all the guy's stuff go? In here? In here? Right in here? here. In here. Right in here. here. This, is, this is your looking at. This is my closet. Clothes is behind his, me. Closet kind of here. His cave. Where does all the guys' stuff go? They just throw it out. They just walk into your apartment. Oh my God, look at all your stuff. All your stuff is stupid. Look at all this stupid stuff. Wow, guys buy really stupid stuff. Hey, you want to go to the candle store? Let's go to the candle store. Wouldn't that be awesome? That's kind of me, though. I ain't gonna lie. I like candles, so don't even, you know what I'm saying? You bought, like, how many? Uh, We bought, like, 140 candles or something ridiculous. It was, like, $3, so don't trip. I got the Bath and Body Works plug, you know, and we, we spent, like, 200 and got, like, 300 candles, so it was worth it. <laughs> that he's definitely describing us right so now, I, like currently. Let's go to the candle store. Wouldn't that be awesome? I've been dragged into that nightmare for like an hour and a half, ninety minutes, just sitting there. This doesn't smell like a pumpkin. Doesn't that smell like a pumpkin? <laughs> pumpkin. This looks like a Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be great? I like Christmas in the apartment, middle of summer. Just fuck with your whole reality. <laughs> That's so, you know what it is? I didn't have like a really good model necessarily, like growing up. Like watching my parents, they always used to argue and shit, you know? Like I was afraid of my dad when I was growing up, you know? Anybody have a dad like that? You're just afraid of him? You know? Not like those sitcom dads that come <laughs> home, the kids are like hugging their legs. My dad pulled in the driveway, me and my brother's freaked like fucking dad's off. Exactly. Shut off the TV. That Try was, to hide. That Dude, if I stand like this, do I look like a lamp? He won't see me, right? Can I just fucking chill out? <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't understanding. When you fucked up, he told you. <laughs> he didn't sit down while we're gonna work it out. We'll just, you know, I still love you. He looked, you, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> For real. real talk. Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. <laughs> Weren't you even paying attention? <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> For real. Christ, you're just like your mother. You're fucking out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That was my dad. No matter what he was bitching about, somehow he would make it about my mother. It would have nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with her. He could somehow find a connection and spin it back. He'd have been sitting, oh, is it raining out? Oh, for Christ's sake, I don't need this shit. Christ, it's the same goddamn thing with your mother. That woman is a fucking <laughs> cloud hanging over my life. Uh -uh. Every time oh you got God. an idea, Christ, she shits all over it. No. <laughs> no, he was hilarious. He used to work all the time, so he didn't really have like any friends or anything. So he used to talk to me when I was eight years old, like I was a fucking bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Just dumping all his shit on me. Like playing in the sandbox, he'd be coming up there. I'll tell you right now, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. I'll tell you, man, I'm, I'm going to get the fuck out. I swear to God, one of these days, I'm getting in the car, I'm going to fucking drive out of here. <laughs> I'm a bitch, Billy. Do you realize that? The woman is a fucking bitch. Yo. The trauma. Is that too real for you guys? You fucking know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? Mm -mm. I, I will get married, you know. I was making that. I'll definitely get married someday, you know. 
I, I, you know, I love women and everything. I'm just finding I'm not, like, compatible with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did I just feel that? Like, women have, like, too much energy for me. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. You ever notice that? It's almost like they see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with shit. <laughs> no, then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. Horrible ideas. Like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? You want to go to the container store, get some containers for your T-shirts? <laughs> You're the oh girlfriend my. in this mix. Oh, this my one. God. Let me get this one. You want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no. <laughs> but you can't say that, right? You got to keep them happy. So what do you do? You agree. Like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now you're thinking. <laughs> Yo. Now you're thinking. <laughs> then we can sit around the only on Sundays, too, I swear, because brunch just be a Sunday thing. And... Yeah, and it feels good. No? Look, you wanted to go to the container store. I know, but it was because of you. I wanted to show you the cool containers that they had. You see my organization. What are you trying to say? I'm not... No, I'm saying you more organized than me. I'm less organized than you. I was telling you because you like cool organizational things. I don't. Mine, that's the only organized thing that I have. Everything else not organized. This is kind of all over. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me back up so they don't get mad. <laughs> what do you do? You agree? Like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you're thinking. Now nah, you're thinking. Then we can sit around to listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs. Like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. Oh, you just want to flip the whole fucking table over? <laughs> it's horrendous. I'm trying to learn to pick my battles when I date girls. I usually argue with women all the time, man. I'm stupid like that, you know? Like, I dated this girl one time. She was, like, really into, like, women's issues. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. So one time she came up to me. She goes, okay, explain this to me, bro. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? 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 I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why I get to go oh. far out. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No, think about it. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I got to stand there with, like, the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go, people, let's go, let's go. That's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. <laughs> that if something fucked up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like, rabbit dog, run, honey. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for first? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? Well, what about me? <laughs> Bullets hurt me too. Why the fuck do I gotta stay in the vault? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, that's my point, man. Where are all the feminists in those situations? You know what I mean? You can't find them. There are no feminists in a house fire. That's a, that's a guarantee. You could take the most hardcore feminist, some chick right in your face, like, he's showing a sick son of a bitch. Little short, little haircut, the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Second those flames break out, she's gonna twist those little hairs into pigtails. No, I'm just a girl. I wanna go play Chocho. Oh my God. <laughs> Leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. <laughs> you're not flammable. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <funny. laughs> real talk, he's going to die just as fast. He said, <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Real talk. <laughs> that is funny as hell. Uh-uh. He is not lying. Because he's going to die at the exact same rate. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, bro. Oh, my God. Because, like, imagine trying to explain why you should, why one person should be alive more than you should be alive. He said, like, yeah, you know, we ain't gonna try to get all y'all out, bro. We just gonna get you out first, and hopefully, my nigga, when, when we get back, you still good, bro. But if not... He said, like, I'm not playing with Paul. Oh, my God. My stomach hurts so I'm bad. I'm sit here and take it. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Oh, Oh. Right in your face, like he's choking a sick son of a bitch. A little yeah. short, little haircut, the whole nine yards, oh right? Oh my god! Second, oh. those flames break out. Oh, She's gonna twist those lying. little hairs into pigtails. No, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I wanna go play jump rope and leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm not. I'm not a dick, though. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying I think a woman should make a doll less an hour to do the same job. All I'm saying is if you're going to make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listen to that guy play the cello. Then you get the corner office. You get all the benefits. Oh, oh my God. So anyways, I was watching George Bush today, man. That guy scares the shit out of me. No, not because like all, you know, all that political stuff. He's just like two and a Jesus for me. I get uncomfortable with that. When people get like overly religious, it kind of freaks me out, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, I don't mind. I don't mind when like black people get really into Jesus, though, you know? Because like somehow like the shit stays spiritual. You know, you get a couple of good songs out of it. You know what I mean? People. Oh my God! Because oh <laughs> black folks be religious as hell, but boy, not religious at all, bro. Like, it's going to be so, I'm going to pray for you. And then as soon as that door closed, man, that motherfucker always going through some shit. Yeah. But we going to pray for this thing, you know. Oh, my God. Oh. You know, you get a couple of good songs out of it. <laughs> I mean, people look like they're having a good Yo, time. Real talk. Somehow when like white dudes get too into Jesus, all of a sudden like shit catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> people start dying. Somebody says they're Jesus and they try to fuck every chick in the compound. Oh and the FBI's got the place surrounded. Yo. Uh-uh. The flames out the front. Oh my God. Uh, I'm not saying white dudes uh, are any more crazier yeah. than black dudes. It's just that nobody's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. That's too much freedom. It's kind of like living alone. You know that same kind uh-uh. of fucked up freedom? You ever feel when you live alone, you like slowly go crazy? Yeah. You know, because you got too much freedom because everybody does crazy shit. Yeah. When you live alone and start doing something crazy, there's nobody there to be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. At what, all. what is wrong with you? What is that? Put it down. Right. <laughs> My girl's actually, she's really like religious. She goes to church every week and I never go and it freaks her out. She's like, why don't you go to church? You don't believe in God and heaven and hell and all that stuff? Well, why don't you go? And it's not because I don't believe in a higher power. I definitely do. My thing is when I go to church, I can't get past the fact that I'm just listening to some fucking guy. You ever think of that shit when you go in there? That's just some dude. And people are like, no, that's a special guy. No, it isn't. It's a special guy. It isn't. <laughs> nah, he didn't, he didn't like levitate down from the ceiling like, oh, <laughs> one guy ain't around him. Right. Why would you listen to another human being tell you where you're gonna go when you die? 
It's just like, dude, have you ever been dead? No. Great. No. Wouldn't it be safe to assume that you wouldn't have the slightest fucking idea what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're making it up. You're making the shit up. You're not fooling me with the robes and the candles. <laughs> Speaking in old English, he said it under you and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Real talk, bro. Oh. Guy. Your name's Jerry, you played soccer, uh -uh. you your ass kicked in gym class, and now you're doing this. <laughs> it's a job. Oh my god. <laughs> Acting like you're special. I can't do it. I just, I can't get past that fact. I'm sitting in church, this guy's name's fucking Cliff. Cliff. He's fucking born. And just break the guy down, and then I can't listen. It's like, you go in there, you listen to another human being tell you what to eat and when to eat it. Don't eat meat this Friday. You eat meat this Friday, you are going to hell. It's like, dude, I'm going to a cookout on Friday. If you eat that fucking cheeseburger, buddy, that is it for you. Who is this guy? Dude, I'll eat a cheeseburger whenever I want to, and I'll jerk off. It's my dick. Right. <laughs> Why am I listening to this guy? Yeah. Uh -uh. Fucking jerk off while eating a cheeseburger. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hurting anybody. Why would God care? Especially if you live by yourself. Right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ain't nobody gonna know. Yo. I'll fucking jerk off <laughs> while eating a cheeseburger. What do you think about that? <sighs> I'm not hurting anybody. Why would God care? I'm not hurting anybody. Think about it. You eat a cheeseburger that's protein. That's good for your muscles, right? And I don't know about you guys, but after I rub one out, I'm more relaxed. I'm less likely to lash out at my fellow man. It's true. I'm in a great space mentally. Right. I don't have any road rage. I talk to telemarketers. I'm buying the shit. <laughs> Clara, you know? Clear mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they just, they just make it all up. But it's weird, though, because I'm kind of feeling sick <coughs> because I haven't been to church in a while. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, I want to go back, but... I need a new religion, man. That's why I'm kind of between religions right now. You know, like I used to be Catholic, but you know, I can't be Catholic anymore, you know? I mean, once they started fucking the kids, I was just like, all right, dude, you know what? I'm out, okay? You guys party way too fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> I got off at about 22 exits ago. Right. <laughs> I didn't see that page in the book. I don't know what you guys are doing. I can't believe they're still in business. People are still showing up. Name one other business that could survive that shit. None. You think if they were fucking kids at Walmart, they could sell rakes the next day? Wow. Just try to play it off like, yeah, we had a little problem in aisle eight, but you know, we got <laughs> some slacks over here. <laughs> we got kitchen appliances. <laughs> we got some hula hoops. Yeah. You guys saw the Pope die? You saw that, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's flipping out, man. I thought that was a good thing. I was like happy for him, man. He was in horrible health. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. just wanted the guy to keep hanging on. It's ridiculous. They're like wheeling him from room to room, and, and people are still flipping. Oh, okay, I think he's gonna die. I, I think he's gonna die. I'm so. It's like, well, I think he's gonna go to heaven. I mean, <laughs> it's gotta be better than that shit. Right. I bet the last two months of his life, he was just sitting in that chair going, God, I wish the world would stop praying for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> just fucking let me go. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> I skied till I was 78. I had a great life. <laughs> Move on. Move on. So they got a new pope now. They picked another old white dude, you know. And uh, <laughs> you know, actually in the running was this black dude from uh, Nigeria, right? They were actually considering making him the pope. And I was kind of hoping he was going to win, you know. Not because I give a fuck either way. I just want to see all the black comics doing bits like the next day. Like, oh, white people scared now. <laughs> white people is scared now. <laughs> yeah, the Pope is black and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different story. Uh -oh. Hell yeah. Come in with the hat to the side. Who's just going to be pumping? White people in the front row. Gee, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Because when black people go to church... Yeah. Could you just feel it? That was like a half hour material. It went out the fucking window the second they picked another white dude. Right. It was endless. Yeah. Mobile's gonna be pimped out, and you better not be shooting at this pope. <laughs> black pope will be shooting back at your ass. Okay. Because when white people.
people get shot, etc., etc. <laughs> Actually, I have this black dude moved in my building, man. Lives on the same floor as me. He's one of these dudes. Every time he's, he's hilarious. Every time he says some shit, right after he's done saying the shit, he repeats like the most important part of like the previous sentence. It's hilarious. Everything he said will be like, yo, my man came in. He put that shit on the table. Put it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Everything he says. Yeah. Yo, this country's at war, son. War. <laughs> I'm just looking at my friend like, dude, did you hear him the first time? Because I, I heard him the first time. I was smiling, I was nodding. Am I, am I fucking supposed to do that? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Yeah! Stupid! <laughs> mm -mm. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta miss you. Stupid. Here he I'm goes. I'm spending too much money on clothes <laughs> hanging out with them. Because I gotta, like, fucking yeah. try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? <laughs> I ironed it, right? It's new. <laughs> they just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of <laughs> shoes to match it and a hat. Yo, seeing this a second time now is so funny because reacting to it the first time obviously had zero idea that's what he was going to talk to, but so many people requested us to react to it. I had no idea why. React to it and see exactly why. Obviously our biggest video, but man, <laughs> legendary to see it all and like you know what i mean like all in one and see it all come together and know that this is how he ends it is just like yo that's that's fire because he led that up so perfect because the black church the black pope nah i like that i love Probably that their shirt is they got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat yeah it's like a rule or something <laughs> They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Cause God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period, one of them's gonna notice. All of a sudden just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. And then the whole car's like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. Yo. They do the math. Like, what was that? Five days ago? Five days? This motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> <laughs> he got five shirts. Oh my god. They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. Yo. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. <laughs> no, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? It had no frame of reference, you know? My only frame of reference with black people was like those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the videos, look, he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> mad. These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> but after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Yeah. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> no. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! Yeah. Everyone <laughs> starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> now, I'm not saying something's going to happen. I'm just saying I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention, <laughs> right. You okay. got to stay vigilant, Definitely. Bro. You got to because, bro, it's like that video we were watching. The homie had them, them forces on that were just, <laughs> we were reacting to it, he man. Them like... forces, demonic, demonic. I'm oh, telling you. Theo, blah, blah. 
Yes. Oh my God. It was not like him, a, but the guy he was. Yeah, the black dude that was like, "Can you pretend like you're breaking up with me, man?" His sneakers was. I said, "Oh nah, he'll commit a crime like right now, like right right now." And not er, not everybody gonna commit the crime. I was going, I was going to think about it, but not everybody gonna commit the crime. But like, dirty forces. <laughs> play somewhere safe you know what I mean cause <laughs> if something does pop up just know he's the one you know what I mean every time he's the one <laughs> making fun of him he's on the train in a bad mood I kinda have this howdy doody kinda mug me kinda face <laughs> I'm not saying something's gonna happen I'm just saying I'm paying attention right <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently uh black girl right she lives up in Harlem you know gone out like three four times you know first time we hung out we hung out in, like the village area in New York you know which is sort of like a racially mixed area <laughs> so shit was cool you know what I mean second time we hung out was more like midtown you know then the third time she called me at like 3 30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment right so it's 3 30 in the morning the girl she lives in Harlem I look how I look so it's a fucking situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you know the deal right Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, start getting like a little asthma, like, ah, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. <laughs> you feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? <laughs> on 6th Street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> dude, what's the bodega? What's the book I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? <laughs> she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. <laughs> Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? <laughs> dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Cause I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? Stay focused. Just relax. <laughs> Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? Right. So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> I don't what even the know where the hell I'm at. Fuck, <laughs> he said Danny Glover. But I see the After I want to go up to I can see her apartment building, but it's like... <laughs> like... How do you compare that to? <laughs> how do you jump from that? Danny's a legend, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm. Yo, he, I thought he was... <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> right. Like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> Uh -oh. I don't even know where the hell I'm at. <laughs> but I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. I'm like, fuck! I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. Oh my God. The white guy survivor. So I'm thinking I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, Yo. I can, like, surprise you. 
No, especially if you live up there. You're trying to get a white person for hours. Oh my possibly. God. Oh my God. Yo, nah, bro. Uh -uh. Bill Burr is the funniest human being alive. <laughs> Shockingly Caucasian is yo. No, mm -hmm. my God. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have like a little pot of gold. Stupid. Like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning, too, you like it. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> right. Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit, though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. You probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2, the radio's out like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims. Uh -uh. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. <laughs> Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. God bless you, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> the whole special is definitely better yeah but. nah it was it was that was an experience i liked that i liked i liked all the extra jokes i mean likely what we'll do when we do these is still clip like the part not that part obviously because we've uploaded it but like if there's a bit like the women making more because since we've already done that we've likely not gonna react to that video so we'll probably clip it and upload that like in a video in itself just because, you know, it makes so not everybody's going to watch the full special. You know what I mean? So then it still gives the people. So if y'all do, you know, rewatch that video, we definitely appreciate that. Obviously, anything helps when is that kind of situation. But um, yeah, I feel like it'll break it up. I feel like this is dope. I think we'll probably make a playlist, too, for specific uh, like full stand-ups, you know what I mean? Because some of them we might do live streams for them and stuff like that because a lot of these I've checked and they're either blocked or so we might have to do different, you know, things to, to make it work. But I, I'm definitely here for the full jumps for sure. Drop a light. Roll to 20, baby. Let's right up. It. Bye.